there are tapes that we're just seeing more and more on the market. Now these are self-adhesive, kind of thin tapes. Mm -hmm. You might know them as washi tape, okay. which is a Japanese thing. So they're very fun to use. They are, and the ones we're going to show you are from our friends at Queen. And, and you can make all sorts of patterns out of them by overlapping them and lots of other things. So and cutting them, to... lots of stuff, so <laughs> come play with us. So here are all the tapes on a roll. Well, they're separate rolls. Right. But <laughs> these are the dot set, and there's six colors. And here are the stripe set with an additional and six. And they are the same colors. Isn't that good? And then there is the magic set. It's kind mm. of a faux Disney, but I didn't say that. <laughs> and um, so you can see. So now, what can you do? Well, there's like 10 yards on a roll. Yes, and I Quite think they are about a half inch. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, so while that's fun, what can you do with them? Well, we're here for you. <laughs> so we have a card. Now, this has been put on patterned paper, but look at what the stripes and the dots have mm. done to just punch it. And this is actually not tape, but this is the paper, but it goes super well with it. <laughs> it, it looks like it was made to be there, and that's the pink polka dot tape. And here's the labels template that's been used to make a wonderful label. Mm -hmm. And just to edge it, I think that's so well done. Very lovely. Now, this is kind of what happens to when you layer them. Right, it's almost like mixing colors. It's kind of like what we get with vellum when yeah, we play with that. Definitely. And then down here, I like this little flag of mm, dots going cute. across. And then on the inside, we've got this, these pennants hanging down with the tapes. Mm, so that's very, very fun. Inventive. Now, this is one way. We have another way, which is kind of a fun going surprise. Going beyond the card now. Yeah, off the page. Mm -hmm. These are simply votive candles, as you can tell. Mm -hmm. And the tape fits perfectly. It does. If it's almost to the T right yes. there. Yes. And then we've taken the lacy border dazzles and just added a little edge. Mm -hmm. And we have to return these to Susan, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> How cute would that be for a decoration? Isn't that darling? Yes. So that's a good way. Now, not just for cards, not just for off the page, mm -hmm. but how about a scrapbook page? On the page. And we have a trip to Disneyland, one of our favorite places. Mm -hmm. And so this is on card stock, uh, red and yellow. She's then, really made a maximum use of these tapes. She has. Almost and everything you look at has tape on well, Let's get in close so we can see. We'll start at the top so you can see that fun border with the words. So. Happy magic memories. Yeah, so we've got things going and the uh, dots, the chevron, mm -hmm. the circles, dots, uh, great big borders. Very Hi, Lauren. Bubbles. <laughs> and then another of the border and the words and then overlapping the three coordinating ones. Mm. So very I like fun. how they look different colors on the different colors of paper since they're slightly translucent. Oh, you're right. You're mm -hmm. right. So that's really becoming kind of yellow mm -hmm. behind it, whereas that's getting a little more ghosted. Right. So now this is using them straight is mm -hmm. kind of what we've done now. You ready for overlapping? Sure. Well, here you go. Wow. <laughs> this okay, is wow. And having fun. Yes. And I did multiple, it's kind of like a mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Just wrapping hey. around and around and around. Okay. And this tissue tape is super easy to work with. It doesn't, it's not too sticky. It's oh. repositionable. Ah, error proof. Right, so I'm sure I re repositioned many of these stripes <laughs> here. And it's super easy to trim off. If you wanna just rip your tape a little bit longer than the card, you can turn it over and on a cutting mat and just run your oh, knife along okay. and it comes right off. So very fun overlapping. And then you've got the flower dazzles, mm -hmm, the, the jewel. jewel dazzles. And then on the inside, very spectacular, <laughs> making yeah. that great big uh, image the in the stripes. center. Yes. And these, Oops. I don't know if you can tell, but the label I oh. painted with some the oh the glitz? sparkly yeah okay oh there we go yeah there <laughs> Cause we you go know me. Cause, yeah because <laughs> this is Anne after all well we have that now there is this cute little shaker mm -hmm. um, you might think of it for salt and pepper but you can also decorate it 
And this originally had a tiny bouquet of flowers it in it. It did, from my desk. Thank you, husband Mike. <laughs> <laughs> and it was very, very cute. It was very sweet. So if you have the right colors, but look how easy and how striking that is. And I thought you could fill this with candy, too. Oh, absolutely. Maybe as a favor. Or... Ah. The other thing you can do is if you want to do any of the blossoms, you know, we have the uh, the 3D, 3D and we've got the mm -hmm. pleated flowers, put them on a wire and you can make a bouquet. That's right, that was one of the class in a box parts. Yes, it would be mm -hmm. very fun. So that is overlapping. This is more overlapping on one mm -hmm. of the bangle bracelets. Kind of doing X's in a design. Yeah, how striking this is. So first the bangle is painted white, mm -hmm. and then you can see how the stripe just, they go to the inside and then the dot. And these are just lined up pieces of the red dot tape, okay. and I just made sure that the dots were continuous. And then you put crystal lacquer or diamond glaze yeah. on top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very it's nice. It's very easy to do, but I love that look. There is another little toy we found. A little surface. This little tin. And you did a very striking piece on that. Thanks. Yeah, this is just using um, scissors and I cut off squares of tape and then just place them in a diamond pattern. Just kind of eyeballing it across. If you want to be exact, you can use a ruler, but. And I bet that part of the reposition, because it's repositionable, you know, you can scoot a little bit. Mm -hmm. So very striking. And that was from our new um, ticket. ticket. Ticket small stamp. stamp. Okay. Now this one is empty on the inside, but mm -hmm. you could also uh, do like an accordion fold little book. I mean, oh, lots that would of be things. Cute. Or a gift card holder. Yes. Oh, it'd be very. Mm -hmm. And you know, this is just a great. It could hold earrings. So it's a great little of, size. Yeah. yeah. Now speaking of great, look at this. Our Anne has been busy. <laughs> so her challenge was to um, take some of the cinch um, bookboard. Mm -hmm and um, use the tapes and maybe some of the tissue and paper, tissue paper and see what you could do and I'll see you later Anne. <laughs> <laughs> and she came back with this beauty so let me open it up this has ribbon holding it mm -hmm. um, although it, you don't need it to hold it closed but it's just an added so you see that she's got tissue paper on the front we'll show you how to do this and this um, this is kind of an anything journal so I put my thoughts Musings, desires, doodles, inspiration, notes, dreams, sketches, ideas, anything, journal. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Say that three times fast. But you've got the dot and the stripe, and mm -hmm. then that's all the tapes. And that's actually wrapped around the um, top. The bookboard. Yeah. And then also, I like how you created a chevron with the stripe. Yes, I did spend many minutes doing did that. Did you? <laughs> and then on the inside, you've got more of the tissue mm -hmm. paper. Well, and that then, bird tissue, it's kind of vintage-y. It is, mm -hmm. uh-huh, that craft color is pretty. Mm -hmm. And then you use the tape to kind of just put things yeah, in. Yeah, I mean, who needs glue stick when you've got fun <laughs> tape to use? And speaking of uh, glue stick and fun <laughs> tape, so you made a pocket. Yes, and that's to put all your little ideas and clippings in. Right, and we've used the Sweet Tweet stamp. Yes, that went perfectly with the bird theme. Ah, and then you've got some ideas that mm -hmm. you're just using. This You, you are using this, <laughs> very fun. Just to show how you could use it. Okay, so show us now. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. <laughs> so I've got the tissue paper. Okay and uh, a book board. So I was going to show how to paste the tissue onto the book board. Okay. Now and I used a liquid glue. I used um, Aline's. Aline's Tacky Glue and is about one part glue, two parts water. Okay. Yeah. They may need a craft sheet. I was Thank just you very thinking much, you Paula. might need this. So let me bring it in. And you have just kind of whacked out. That's the technical term. <laughs> some tissue paper much larger mm -hmm. than your book board, only to give you a little bit of leeway, exactly. right? Exactly. Okay, so there's the book board. Right, so this the, is the six by six, by the way. Yes, so the key to doing this is just move quickly. <laughs> is that the key? And cover the whole board, and then put your tissue on top of it, and then okay. here we go. So do it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm using a pretty large brush here, I just okay. wanna um, put this glue mixture on, and since the chipboard is pretty thick, it won't warp. Okay, and you're moving quickly because the chipboard will absorb it. Right, so and you it'll just, get dry. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Okay, so here we go. Now notice that this is wrinkled. I mean, it's got crossed creases. And that's um, how I pressed it down. Mm -hmm. Just that 
perfectly and carefully. Yes, and I want those wrinkles because I think it adds character. I think it does too. No, I don't want to get it glued to the craft sheet. So. Okay. Okay, so on the original notebook, I actually have two layers of tissue because, as you know, tissue paper shows through. Yes, which is one of the beauties. So of I'll it. try to do this carefully because since t when tissue is wet, it's very fragile. Oh, okay. So Would you have normally let it dry before doing yeah. the second layer? Okay. But for your sake. Oh, thank you, dear. We appreciate <laughs> that. Now, are you going to kind of position your art carefully on top? Yeah. Well, I'm just going to eyeball it. Well, I don't want it to be the same exact image, so I'm going to All offset right. it a little bit. Okay. Since my tissue is bigger than my cover, I can just, do Just did that. you notice the careful positioning there? Yeah. That was about <laughs> half a second. Okay, we're going to put it here. <laughs> we have a limited amount of time. <laughs> we so. do. Okay. okay. Let's see here. Should I scoot all this yes, away? Yes, please do. Okay. All right, so that's all pressed down, and mm -hmm. if you get a closer look, you can see the texture oh, in it. Oh, pretty. So. You know, I, I didn't really see that while you were doing it. Mm -hmm. it, all, it kind of looked like it was obliterating it, but I love that. <laughs> it's kind of ghosted behind it. Right, you can see Very the feathers nice. in this cage. So then you would just turn this over and trim it. Mm -hmm. But yeah. on the final one, you um, printed off some words onto mm -hmm. some other, some of the plain tissue? Yeah, the plain tissue, we, we carry um, some cream 12 by 12 mm -hmm. tissue paper, which is a little bit more substantial than regular tissue that you would put in a gift bag. Oh. Because you can print on it, so it's oh, really nice. Oh, lovely. And then uh, tore the edges and mm -hmm. then did the same thing with the glue. And this, I um, put the bird kind of in the cage behind it. Oh, I see. So that's an example of ah. plant placement. Okay. <laughs> Now, we do have one other wonderful bit of stuff, mm -hmm. and Anne has created this sheet, and we'll have it in the gallery, and right. um, so you want to walk through, walk us through this? So this is just the plain tape, and then there's stripes over the polka dots. Now, one thing we did notice is that the stripes going under the polka dots kind of didn't work mm -hmm. real well, but on top, so again, that reposition. Yes. And then this is a gingham pattern made by Isn't putting it? the stripes perpendicular to each other. I would not have thought of doing that. <laughs> That's so good. And then we have the dots, just some examples of how you can layer them mm. and actually make the dots different colors because oh, fun. there's pink and blue, there's green and blue. So then you're green. just carefully positioning. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, of course. Yeah, just so fun. the dots land on the right color. Very fun. Now here's a... And this is plaid. So it's kind of got a little two-color gingham yeah. just in the squares. And then this is kind of an argyle-ish pattern. I love that. And that's what you saw on the bangle. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. oh, With two colors. Very neat. And this is the chevron pattern. OK, talk to me about this. This one <laughs> took a little bit more time because that had to be pretty exact. So this is made up of these pieces. Okay. And so, which um, are cut at angles? Yes, they're cut okay. at angles. They just have to be cut at the same angle. And since the reposition pull, I will take one off, and I'll show you how it makes a V with this one. Okay. Oh, just so, like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they have to be at these angles, and you just put them together. And I mean, this would go this way, but you can see how it looks the same as one of these Vs. Very good. Very good. Okay. And then I have, board. yeah, checkerboard. Ah. It kind of reminds me of dice. It does. Or it poker because of the mm -hmm. <laughs> colors. And that's It's fun. another side of Anne we won't talk about <laughs> right now. And then we've got the black and white, or black and blue, I guess, and white. Yes. <laughs> um, checkers, too, but these are diamonds. So, so you made dots and stripes, dots and, stripes and ginghams. And gingham, yeah. Hooray. And I, I also... Um, made several different pockets in here. I don't remember. There's one. Oh, we didn't get that far back. Yeah, okay. so I've, I've done the diamonds here, and then I've done okay. um, just some stripes. This is an example of the plaid. Seems like with very little effort, you can create some very fun looks. Yes, and then this is another ah, the diagonal. Fun. And I think we saw that one, but um, these pockets I did want to show that you can make them easily. Are you looking yeah, for this? this, <laughs> yes. So you get, since you can use your 12 by 12 cardstock for this, you can get four right. pages per piece of paper. Right. So what I've done is I've cut my six inch cardstock and scored it down the middle and just folded it in half. Oh. And then I'll take that other square mm -hmm. 
and then voila. So that's your paper. You've got your pocket. Yeah, this oh, is the okay. page. This is the pocket. And just glue and then, it at the edge. Yeah, I would take some of that ultra tape and yes. just put a strip across Double there. Mm -hmm. And then um, when I'm done with all my pages, all my pockets, all my taping, then use the cinch to bind the right. holes. Because you don't want right. to tape over your holes. Right, no, so. you don't. Okay. Yeah, so I just want to do that. Simple demo. So, wonderful mess. There's just a <laughs> world of possibilities. I love the trendy tapes. <laughs>